Hey everyone, this is Major Batman at Link Hero Studios. I'm going to show you an easy way to get some items to move independently with almost little to no code. Alright, so I opened up a standard Unity project. And what I'm going to do is I found the hat propeller within the Polygon Kids pack. If you see, there's a hat as well as a sub item that is just the propeller for the spinning. We can see that it wants to rotate. And so how do we get that done? You go down to prefabs, head attachments, and you find the propeller hat. Let me find it. Here it is. Let's put it into screen. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna open this up and you're gonna see both the, the hat and then the propeller spin. And it's rather simple. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna over add a component or add a configurable joint. This adds a rigid body as well as a configurable joint. And there is a lot here. The basics of it boil down to whether or not you want it to move and whether or not you want it to spin. The XYZ motion and angular XYZ motion. Now we can spend a lot of time on this. There's a lot here, but you just want to know how to make this spin really quickly. We know we don't want it to move in the X, Y, or Z, so we're going to turn these all to locked. Now, when we look at this, the axis that we want to spin on is the Y axis, the green. You see this green? green. Um, the Y is the up and down. So it's spinning on its top. It's spinning on the up, uh, around. And so for that, that's the Y. So we're going to lock both the X and the Z, and we're going to keep the Y motion free. So then we're going to skip down. Th these are springs for motion in the X and Y, X, Y, Z. This is for the angular x y um, if you want to limit how far that it moves if you want it to like ping back and forth between two different locations this is for the linear as well and then what we're going to do is we're just going to take the target angular velocity and we're just going to set that to five so i believe this is um rotations per second or something of that nature i don't specifically know why and it's actually a little difficult to get the the code behind it so you set it to five and then we don't want to mess with the angular x drive, but the angular yz drive is something that we do want to mess with. So we're going to change this to 2 and 1. My understanding of this is the spring needs to overcome the mass. And so initially, by putting it here, the spring slightly higher than the damper gets it moving. And so if we press play, we can see that it's spinning. Not too bad. And I feel like it could be better. All right, that looks rather good. So I had to mess with the settings a little bit, and I believe by initially setting it to beyond zero. So let's let's try this one more time. And you can adjust the speed to really as high as you want it. Ludicrous speed. So you choose the speed that you want. This is just to add some spice to something, make it something move. So there we go. A rather simple, easy to spin with very little code. So let's just try something else. Let's exit out of here. We're gonna go to the playground and we're going to add this rocker to this. Now, I'm not completely familiar with this, but I think it kind of looks like a merry-go-round type thing. Although. There's probably a thing where it's supposed to bounce back and forth, and we could perhaps mess with that as well. But we're going, for the purposes of this show, make it into a merry-go-round. So if you open the rocker up, there's a rocker pole, and you can see that it highlights the top. So all we have to do is go back here and add a configurable joint again. Again, we don't want it to move left or right, up or down, forward or backwards. We don't want it to rotate around the forward or around the side, but we do want it to rotate in the top position. So we can do that again, and then what we're going to do is add a little bit of angular velocity, and then also add a little bit of the YZ drive by adding zero and one in the spring dampener. So if we go back and we press play, we get a slow moving America run. In a couple clicks, a couple numbers, we get it working. And that really this is I think how to make the most out of a lot of these Cinti assets is is getting them to move. All right, let's do one more. Okay, so this is a seesaw. OK, 
Okay. And the seesaw has a top and a bottom, right? And so if you look at this top, what we want it to do is we want it to tilt right at these this point here. So uh, this is the X. So we want it to go kind of go down and go up um, and rotate a little bit on there. So we can also use a configurable joint for this. What we're going to also find is we're going to need to add a box collider. And so if we set this box collider, it's maybe a little big, but we could probably work with that. Right? So when what will happen is let's let's add a box collider here too so that So the idea is that this box will collide with the bottom box and it will work splendidly. I'm going to, I'm just going to raise it up. So back to configurable joint, we talked about how we don't want it to move in any particular direction. We no longer want it to spin like a helicopter. So that's, we're going to lock the Y and then we don't want it to rotate and like tip the kids off. So we're going to lock that as well. But for the Angular X, we don't want it free either because that would be kind of a, a plane propeller instead of a helicopter. So let's change this to limited. So with the limited, what we do is we go to the, the low angle X and the low, the low and high angle X. And so this defines a limit. If we do this rotation around, we can go, we want it to go to about minus 10. And we want it to go to about plus 10. So if we just do that, let's, let's use those. So minus 10 as the low, and then positive 10 as the high. I believe that's all we need to do. So let's let's start this. Oh, um, I'm going to add a 3D object just to test it out. If we start. All right, so we, it's not moving at the moment, right? So it's not like the other ones, but now it's, I believe physics based. So let's try this out. So if we hit, if we hit this down, it goes down and then goes back up and teeters back and forth. So not perfect. You can see it kind of wiggles here, but probably decent enough to put in the background. So you can see some kids move back and forth on this. Not too bad. Now we can actually pro we probably could adjust this a little bit more. So let's look we look here there's something called the uh, the anchor point so if we look at the anchor let me click on the gizmos and if we look at this anchor point it's it's high so it's this little black thing so if you move it closer to the bottom and then let's try this one more time And it it moves, but we're not quite getting you know maybe some springiness or something, and just not like snapping back. So let's see what we can do here. Let's let's go over here. Let's um, let's adjust the bounciness to one. And I believe that's perfect bounciness. But now we have a seesaw. You edit it once, now it's working. And that is how to use a configurable joint to add some movement, some spice with, with no coding. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Um, I'm Major Batman at Link Hero Studios, and have a great day.